He didn't flinch. Listen to what he said last night. He had to know going in, this was a boo line. Listen. And so to do that, I'm going to eliminate every non-essential, expensive program I can find. Stop. That includes a... Can, can you imagine just saying that? You're reading this. You're, you're getting ready to give this speech. And, uh, okay, and it's the NAACP, and I'm going to eliminate all these programs. You don't look at your speechwriter and go, uh, what do you think the uh, reaction is going to be to that one? And, I mean, if, if he didn't have a speechwriter that said, oh, they're not going to like this part, you should fire him, Mitt. But he left it in and did it anyway. And he went further. Obamacare, and I'm going to work to... Stop. Played from the beginning. Yeah, you got to hear the whole... And so to do that, I'm going to eliminate every non-essential, expensive program I can find. That includes Obamacare. And I'm going to work to reform and save... <laughs> I got meat in my pocket. (laughs) Bring it on. He stops. You know, there was a survey. There was a survey. And then he just moves on. He stops and lets them boo for, what, 10, 12 seconds. Uh, You know what? Good. Good. And he doesn't back off from it. He just moves on. Now, here's. Now, here's. That's Mitt Romney. If Glenn Beck were running for president, here's what I would have said. Oh, you don't like that? You know what? You're going to you're not going to like a lot of different things. But you see, I'm going to be the president of all the people, not special interest groups. And quite honestly, I'm going to do some things that you like, and I'm going to do some things that you hate. But I'm going to do the things that the people are sending me there for. And 78, what is it, 78% or 68% of Americans don't want Obamacare. You might want it, but the American people do not. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm sorry if you don't like it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to suck to be you on that one. But we'll find places where we can unite elsewhere. Well, and he told him later in the speech, it's never been worse for African Americans in this country. They booed him on that. And it has. It's never been worse for tell African Americans in this country. Tell me a time, tell me a time, besides, you know, tell me a time besides <laughs> Reconstruction or slavery when it has been worse. It hasn't. It, it, and the st- statistics back it up. He's uh, Barack Obama has destroyed african-american but families. you know what they are a special interest leftist group that's who they are yeah so he you walked can, into you can a, kick them in the teeth and they're gonna vote for you anyway right. he went to a um he went to a group uh, uh you know a progressive leftist group that is not about principles but about politics so you're gonna get that i think this makes mitt romney stronger myself i know there were some some people i love rush limbaugh's explanation of this he said, you know, uh, Barack Obama goes in there and he starts doing the Selma, Alabama, uh, you know, twang that he uh, I, I, this guy is the only only guy that's better at this than Barack Obama lying and, you know, being an actor. The only one that's not in Hollywood making 20 million dollars a year is Van Jones. Mm-hmm. These guys, both these guys could be an actor because they all of a sudden they'll be like, you know what, in this country. And let me tell you something else. I, and Brock Bob Jesus Ball. And you're like, what? What kind of, what Where'd is that? Where'd that accent come from? Yeah. Rush also mentioned Hillary. You remember the uh, the speech where she went into the the poetry where she, I ain't no ways you tired. You got to play. You got to find, <laughs> find that. You got to find that. That's, that's one of the, really I bad. I ain't in no ways tired. <laughs> I ain't going to sit down. And you're like, what <laughs> was that? And they, they, they cheered her for that, didn't they? I think they did. Can you imagine if... <laughs> oh, NAACP, will you invite me to speak, please? <laughs> Can you imagine if I, if, I, if I went in there and said, and I ain't in no ways tired, and I'm go- <laughs> I ain't going to sit down. Can you imagine <laughs> how they would rip you apart? As oh, they God. should. Oh yeah. As they should. But again, they're just about they're just about politics. And so it's I mean, it's a joke organization. That's that's the great thing about it is the NAACP is a joke organization now. Oh, is this it? We have yes. a march to finish. I think so. I will be reintroducing the Count Every Vote Act to ensure that every voter is given the opportunity to vote, that every vote is counted. I'm gonna skip ahead. Let us say with one voice, 
the words of James Cleveland's here great comes, here freedom comes. hymn. Here it comes. Mm -hmm. I don't feel no ways tired. <laughs> I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. That is horrible. That, that is was some of the worst stuff I've ever heard. I ain't in no ways tired. <laughs> it's so bad. Who said to her? And you got to do it in the accent. Hey, do do James Cleveland in, <laughs> in an accent. That'd be great. That'd be great. Oh, you are Shakespearean. You are brilliant. Yes. Encore. Encore. More. Oh, my God. You'll see her. Uh, she's playing uh, Frederick Douglass. Uh, next week uh, in theaters all around the country. You don't want to miss that live performance of Hillary Rodham Clinton. You know, the, the, I was starting to say that the the NAACP, and just like the National Organization of Women, they're a joke. They're a joke. You know, I any credibility that they might have had has been blown now, and it's just, again, it's like we talked about with um, Andrea Mitchell, and I mean this. NBC, listen to me. Please, let me help you. Let me help you. Okay, I, I'd love to help you. I like competition, and I think there should be a healthy, robust competition. But you guys, what you're doing at NBC and CNN and CBS and ABC, all these guys, what you're doing with your news divisions, you have now you now have the lowest credibility you have ever had on record. Twenty one percent say I trust TV news. Twenty one percent. You guys are making such a huge role, uh, such a huge hole in the market that GBTV and The Blaze is going to, I mean, we're going to have semi-trucks, not one after another, lined up side by side driving through that hole very soon. And don't get me wrong, keep going. Keep going, brother. I like it. I'm a capitalist. But I would just for, oh, I, let's make it sporting. I would like to make sure that I'm not walking around a wounded lion a wounded bear. I mean, I don't want, I know I'm not a hunter that says, could you break all the legs of the deer before I go out hunting? So well, let me help patch you up, please. Let me help patch you up. If you don't want to, if you don't want to fix yourself, if you don't want to have some credibility, if you don't want to call a spade a spade, that's fine. Whatever. I'm, uh, you know, how much, how much for 30 rock? Seriously. I like it. It's got the ice skating rink. We can bring we can bring all of the Mercury crew up, and we can every December it. we could we could go skating. We go skating. We could great have a big tree there. We get the we get the we, you know what we'll do? We'll take seventeen ninety one. We'll raise a bunch of money for uh, presents, and we'll put them under the tree for kids, and we'll bring homeless kids in there. I mean, we can I can find a million things to do with Thirty Rock when you're done with it because you're out of business. But I don't think that's necessary. I don't like to see you go out of business. Stop it. Stop it. But you're, you're making yourself a joke. The National Organization of Women, you have no credibility. Uh, the, the NAACP, you have no credibility. AARP, you have no credibility. Congress, you have no credibility. White House, you have no credibility. Politicians, you have no credibility. Republicans, no credibility. Democrats, no credibility. Somebody said, I told this story the other day. Somebody said they were a big donor to FreedomWorks, and they said... What do I get at the end? Uh, their guy their guy lost. I said, you have credibility. You stood. That is invaluable. You, there, I mean, you cannot put a price on credibility. It is going to be the hottest commodity out there. It will be rarer than gold. It will be a rare earth mineral. And here's the great thing. The American people will own that. Not the... China. The American people will own that rare earth mineral of credibility. You just stay credible yourself and you win. This game is over. I'm telling you this game is over. You just have to go out now and finish the game. We may be down at the at you know at at halftime, but I'm telling you the game is over. Just get back on the field and finish it. It's one up in here. It, it's it's over. It's over. And the crowd wants you to win. 
congratulations, Mitt Romney, for having the balls to go in and uh, saying it like it is and not mm. not placating and not saying, I ain't in no ways tired. <laughs> congratulations for being that geeky white guy that you are and just saying what you believe. Sure didn't pander, that's for sure. sure. Don't, no he pandering really at all. didn't. No pandering at all. And th- isn't that exactly what we've been asking for? I don't agree with him in his pal- policy. I'd like to know, replace it with what? I'm going to repeal Obamacare and replace Obamacare. Replace it with what? I want to know that. I'd like to know, what are you replacing it with? I don't really agree with Mitt Romney on a lot of things. But isn't it what we've been asking for? Somebody who will just say it and say the same thing to everybody? Can you imagine how little credibility that man would have if he would have went to the NAACP and placated them? He went into the lion's he went into the lion's den mm-hmm. with sausages in his pocket. Yep, and many, uh, and uh, smeared in hammer. <laughs> how many speeches has, has Barack Obama made to the Mormon Tabernacle Choir? How many times how, has he been? How to many the, speeches? Zero. How yeah, many yeah, times yeah. has yeah. Uh-huh. he says zero. he'll meet with Ahmadinejad? He's meeting with a terrorist organization um, in the White House. He's met with a guy who says the blind sheik's got to go. A guy who is on the terrorist watch list, mm-hmm. he invited into the White House. Yeah. He's going to meet with the new president of, uh, of uh, Egypt in the White House. But he, how many times has he ever spoken at a Tea Party event? He, uh, never. Uh, never. And he doesn't even go to states that are conservative in nature like Utah or Texas. He doesn't even go there, let alone he doesn't go, go into a lion's den in a state like that. He's never been to Israel he doesn't since he's go been to president. Israel. It's amazing. Yeah. It's so. By the way, uh, Mitt Romney is going to Israel, I think, what, next month? Yeah. Coming Ooh. up soon. Um, I heard uh, the most unbelievable stat about this NAACP thing, though, which is, you know, maybe there wasn't too much risk. As, is it, You know, maybe he really pretty much couldn't lose any votes, certainly by doing it. Uh, that uh, last time John McCain lost the African-American vote uh, 96 to 4 or something like that, uh, which was the same percentage David Duke lost the African-American vote in, in Louis- when he ran for governor. So <laughs> John McCain carried the same amount of the black vote as David Duke did when he ran for governor. I, you can't do worse. Right, like there's no way to do worse than that. Why not show up and speak to the NAACP? Good for him. I mean, go in there and tell the bad. truth. Say free enterprise is the thing that's going to bring this back. And look, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. In that play with these facts. Yeah, isn't that amazing? John McCain, uh, as bad as di- as a Klan member. <laughs> Think of that. Un- I hate John McCain, but he's not a Klan member. I really want to talk to the african-american though i was like you know what i think david duke's the guy i gotta say it i, I gotta say it david duke's the guy i'm voting for him <laughs> who is that guy no idea. <laughs> that's, that's amazing i have no idea all right hang on just <laughs> that is really amazing isn't it when you think about it wait a minute there was 17 percent of the people that said yeah, I'm African American and I like the guy in the hat. <laughs> That's a hood. <laughs> Who does that? Okay, back in just a second because we have a couple of people that are upset with us. Jerry in Detroit, he's uh, he's black, and he says, "I don't believe Romney. He's not sincere." Okay, well make make a report make make a point that's that. W- that we're not all like. <laughs> well, uh, let's hear what he has okay. to say. <laughs> all right, make a point that we're not all like, yeah, okay, it's, but, but what's your point? Well, he's a politician. I think you started a low base with that one. <laughs> I mean, 